to see the people getting on the train out here in the countryside. The classical music. You realize that China has changed so much since I've been here. For many years, you get on a train from 60 years ago that had no, no air conditioner, definitely no classical music. Definitely people were not in the line. They would just pile on top of each other. And I've rode before 18 hours where there's so many people on the train that to give you an idea of how different this is. When I first started riding the trains, I used to, I used to like it in my bohemian youth. I used to like the, the non-conformity and the, and the wild, wild feeling of, of seeing wooden chairs and people eating, I mean, people would be eating peanuts and like eating every kind of fruit. And you could still see this on the, on the slow train. Um, but at, the tickets of these are the same, so people are, are from this countryside, and, it, and it, it was, they were just completely have trash everywhere. And, and a lot of times, you, when they say there's no seat to sit down, you know what that means? That means like, like um, really, you stood up and you laid in the aisles, and people laid underneath the chairs. People laid, I mean, and, and when really full times, you couldn't put two feet down on the floor at the same time. I'm, I'm dead serious. And, and there were so many people that you could not make it from the middle of the subway car to the end of the subway car to go to the bathroom. And, and in, in between the cars, there was just packed. If you ever saw the pictures of the trains in India. So to see this now and to see the people, I mean, it's, it's a huge, huge, huge change in what used to be. And, 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 and it's almost educational. It's almost like teaching the people, um, you know, to cue and teaching them social finishing. 